I went down to Mexico City on February 20th, 2020 to visit my Turkish friend, Elida. But first of all, how did we meet? One day, I decided to fly to Ashgabat, Turkmenistan. I checked in for my flight in Dublin. I would board this Boeing 737-800 model aircraft. Alright, I got uh, 25A, so I'm gonna get on my flight. I have to board on the back. Elida happened to be working on this flight as cabin crew from Dublin to Istanbul. At the end of the flight, we became friends, stayed in touch, and then about three months later, on January 27th, she sent me a message to tell me that she was going to Mexico. She asked me, can you be in Mexico on February 19th? Because I have two days off. I looked at my busy schedule and thought, sure, why not? So I boarded the flight on Aeromexico from New York at 1 a.m. to take the red eye flight down to Mexico City. It was 4 hours and 55 minutes and I slept on the whole flight. Of course, when she knew I was serious about actually coming, she said, Ah, for me? Ah, no, don't do this. Well, I was already on the airplane, so I said, I'll go visit my other friend in Mexico City instead. I arrived in Mexico City at 6.30 a.m. and took the bus to immigration next. Immigration took a breeze, baggage claim took a breeze, and soon I was exiting the airport to meet my friend upon arrival. I arrived in Mexico City now, so now I'm gonna go find my host. She's gonna pick me up here, and she's waiting outside the airport. Oh, really? Nice to Hola. meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so I got out here, over here. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so Ren was a couch surfing member, and she would host me on my first day of my trip down there. All right, so here we are. How are you? <laughs> um, You're tired? I don't know, yeah, a little bit. What's your name? Sorry. All right, nice to meet you. I'm Jason. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mexico City today. Um, so, what's our plan? We first have to go to Terminal One. I guess so. Yeah. Okay. And after that, like a lot of traffic. So we'll take the bus from there. Yeah. Like your place. Yes. I slept five hours on the airplane coming down from New York. And I slept four hours. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, because I couldn't sleep. Oh man. I so, I even just... though I was on a plane, I slept more than you. <laughs> yeah, I know. We got in a small minivan and then later on a bus to reach her place. The whole journey took about an hour because Mexico City was big. So I'm your second couch surfing guest? Yeah. Okay, what do you normally use? I normally use Workaway. Okay, so what's the job of your guests on Workaway? They just have to walk my dogs and sometimes help me, I don't know, cleaning or cooking. Oh, really? Something like quite easy. We arrived to her home and I would drop off my luggage. So, oh. so... Hey doggies! So where's the dogs? Outside. Oh, but they can hear us. Yeah, of course. Hola, perros! Oh, it is small. Ah. Hey dogs! Perros! Oh, you're fun. This is a tiny apartment and it's, as I said, not a fancy place. But I mean like I live alone with two dogs, so it's just fine for me. So you got the bedroom here and the spare bed, the doggy, and the refrigerator yeah. and the small kitchen. Yes, tiny, <laughs> tiny kitchen. <laughs> and the dogs usually are outside when you're gone? Yes. Oh wow, there's the dog house. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you can wash your clothes here too, yeah? Yes, but I use the washing machine, obviously. And also I can go upstairs to wash whatever I want. My next plan was to return by metro to the airport to meet my friend Aiden, who was Australian and had been vacationing in Mexico. He was returning back to work, so I decided to go meet him at the airport before he left. <laughs> This guy was busy trying to hustle and sell a mind puzzle game to passengers. I noticed the metro in Mexico City had a place for women and children only. I finally got to the station called Pantitlan and transferred to the next metro. I made it to Hongores station, so I'm gonna head to the airport to meet with Aiden. So Aiden has been here for about two weeks in Mexico. He's leaving today to go back to Taiwan to teach. 
Here's Terminal 2, Mexico City Airport. Yeah, how long were you in Mexico for? Oh, this time, Jason, for two weeks. How's it feel, man, to be through every country now? You must I, have like a big, what, like a big, like weight off your shoulders there a bit. Yeah, like it's that. Like completely off my shoulders now. Yeah. Now it's you just, have to do it. <laughs> oh, I know, man. I I love your videos. It's just amazing to. I know, to meet someone who's done that now. So, I mean, when I met you, how many years ago was that since you met? So, you know, f four years ago, you yeah. know, we were sort of at the same uh, number were, of countries. You were above me by a couple of countries. Yeah, maybe. And, and then now, at... now, unfortunately, now the, the work comes back and then we, we yeah, can't do that anymore. As you know better than anyone, the last 20 something are, are hard for visas, hard to process everything. But if so. you try it hard, you can do it in one year. Yeah, I, I know, you Maybe know, when I, yeah, well, <laughs> now, well, I mean, look, I couldn't have been here without you again, man, that's why I'm so grateful to be here, but, and now I have my work, and most people probably be thinking, how can this guy be happy with working, but yeah. it's actually nice to have a routine, you know yeah. what it's like, you know, always traveling, sleeping on the airport floor, it's nice to actually go back and to, um, you know, have my own room and have a routine, go to the gym, and stuff like that. Aiden chose Mexico because he loved the food there. I had, uh, I had some mango, some fresh mango from the market near where I was staying, and for you, the fruit is a good idea. Yeah, but again, you know, in Mexico and uh, any other country, <laughs> mango is mango here. They ask you if you want chili, if you want salt, if you want lime, if you want tamale. So it's like a whole conversation. It's like, okay, okay trip, Jason, man. thanks so much, man. Great to see you, man. I hope to see you again in the, in the near future. Maybe our next trip will be the Bari Lunch. Absolutely, man. But thanks, keep being a great guy. All right, thanks, man. See you. Bye. Bye. After our short visits, we parted ways. There Aiden goes, he's gonna catch his flight to Minneapolis. Now I was free to explore Mexico City and visit some new areas that I haven't seen before. Want the West? One of my favorite things about Mexico was the fresh orange juice you could find nearly anywhere. Adios. Got some orange juice here. I finished my visit to Aiden, so now I'm gonna head to another station. I took the metro to get to Insurgentes station because I wanted to visit Bosque Chapultepec, a big park, in fact one of the biggest in Latin America. It is springtime here in Mexico City. I arrived to the metro station Insurgentes. So now I'm on my way to meet Leda. She flew in this morning at 10 a.m. Uh, she has a two-day layover here, so I'm gonna go meet with her. She came in all the way from Turkey. I'm gonna visit this area now and meet with her in a few hours. When I saw a pharmacy, I decided to stop by and check for the masks. ¿Cuántos pesos? Quince. Quince? ¿Es el último? ¿Por qué? Se están agotando muy rápido. Ah, ahora muy rápido. I got the last pack of five masks at this pharmacy over here. They said that it's selling out really quick. If I need to go on the airplane, I'm all set now. This is a nice area of Mexico City. It's a really nice neighborhood, a lot of trees. And over here, I finally made it. And here's the Sheraton Maria Isabel. This is the area where I would meet Elida later this evening. This pickup truck sure had a lot of old junky bicycles in the back of this pickup truck. They have nice nature areas, which is nice to take a walk in. And it's very conveniently located here in this neighborhood in Mexico City. They even have these bikes that you can rent. This guy is painting up there. He's back to work now. He was taking a little break earlier. So he uses his paint roller. He's suspended by this uh, big rope in a secure fashion. And he picks up his paint in his right bucket over there. Nowadays in Mexico City, they actually have a bike lane. So bikers are kept safe from the traffic. This is the new fashion in Mexico City to paint walls. I have noticed that different parts of the city, there's a lot of paintings, which is kind of nice. Everything in Mexico City is improving and getting new. They have new sidewalks here. The buses are improved and everything is working on schedule. This is literally the biggest cactus I've ever seen. It's so big, it's overflowing its path to grow here. I don't know what this is, but it looks like maybe an agave plant, but it's humongous. Mexican police cars like to use the Mustang Ford Charger. It's really popular here. These buses look pretty funny, even though it says it's a Chevrolet. I've never seen this type of bus before. Here's one entrance to Chapultepec. Finally, I'm figuring out how to say it. Bienvenido al Bosque de Chapultepec. My mission now is to find that lake where you can find those boats on it. 
What I learned from information online was that the zoo is free, the lake is there, they got some museums here. As I mentioned, this is the largest park in Latin America. Here it says it. It's 686 hectares. This is similar to Central Park. There's uh, buildings and cities around here. Here's one area where they have a statue. I'm looking for that lake. So I was told that I can find these lakes this way. So that's where I'm going. all kinds of food here. Potato chips, sodas, that's not my forte. Oh, there's popcorn. I like popcorn. Popcorn might be up my alley. I saw a plane like a Boeing 747 Jumbo Jet, but when I looked on the side, it had a completely different name because of copyright rules. This is a H620 airplane. There's no such plane as an H620. It's almost like a Boeing. Similar to a Boeing? Boeing? Boeing. Mm, H620. Aerolinea. Mm, okay, gracias. This is your average popcorn stand. So instead of an Airbus 380, they called it a H620. I never heard about that. I guess they make their own names for airplanes since it's copyrighted. I saw this girl with this shirt that said jet lag mood. It was kind of funny. So I asked to get a photo. So that's the kind of mood she's in, jet lag mood. I finally found it. Here it is, all those boats. I've been wanting to come here for a long time. There's all sorts of things you can do at this park. It's so big that um, there's even a zoo at this park. You have to wear life jackets here though. Pretty relaxing. Everyone is enjoying it. They even have swan boats, like this one. That looks fun. They're all pedal boats. This is it. This is the prices to go on this attraction. This is how small the boat is. Here are those humongous cactuses. Can't believe how big they are. Oh man, here's the traffic of Mexico City. That's a lot of cars out there. This was Estela de Luz, a monument built in 2011 to commemorate the bicentenary of Mexico's independence from Spanish rule. At nighttime, it lights up and has nice displays. But it's so big. Oh man, look at this. This guy's selling coconuts. Let's see. Chilies with lime. After drinking the water, he added chili, lime, and of course, salt. Check to see what this guy was selling. Hola, ¿qué es? Chapulines, crickets. Wow. Esta muy, um, no, 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 gracias. Pura proteína. Pero, mucho proteína? Mucho proteína. ¿Y qué más? Charales. Charales? Yeah. Es like... Pescado. Pescados. Fish. Fish. Oh wow, that's interesting. It's muy interesting. Check this out. I found the Mac store here in Mexico City. But it's just a premium reseller. It's actually not the real Mac store. But I want to see how much an iPhone 11 costs here. Hola. ¿Cuánto cuesta el iPhone? ¿Qué iPhone buscas? 11 Pro Max. 11 Pro Max es este. Eso. 27,400. Pero es en dólares. En dólares. 28,400 dólares. Uh, okay. Six. Yeah. It costs 1644 for an iPhone Max. Here's a nice water fountain. While waiting for Elida to finish her day excursion with her crew, I decided to take a look at the local area. This was the Angel of Independence, built in 1910, but now getting renovation. Now found a vegan apple strudel. I also ordered a juice that has guava, orange, pineapple, and lemon. Gracias. Yeah, it's completely fresh. Elena sent me a message and she's with her crew at the Starbucks. So I'm going there now to meet her. Hi. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> so, I'm just kidding. Alright. 
But we can go to the other one. So this one's small. Yeah, yeah, small. Oh, okay. Other one is it's bigger. <laughs> it's my new channel. Hey, Leda. Uh, hi, Jason. How are you? Fine. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Uh, we are in Mexico City. Wow, that's uh, nice. Neydi bizim gideceğimiz yer? Cancun. Cancun. We're gonna head off Cancun and then Istanbul City. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad you just get to uh, stay at the airport in Cancun. Maybe next time. No, next time. Yes. Yeah, next time. Okay. Yeah, we will come back. Oh, so many Starbucks around here, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I have been to Starbucks, yes. We're trying to find one with more space. Yeah. Elida had started working for the airlines in February 2019, and finally she got awarded to fly extended range flights. Mexico City was a 14-hour flight from Istanbul. Our first time, but we didn't like this. Ordering coffee, they almost spelled her name right. Elida! That's a good one. <laughs> What did you order? What did you order? What? No, what did you order? <laughs> I, can't, I can't understand. What did you have? Jazz. Chai tea latte. You want hot chocolate? Oh. You're safe now? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> On the other hand, they really misheard my name and wrote Jess. Well, that was the fun at Starbucks in foreign countries. My name is Karai. Uh, I'm a flight chef in Turkish Airlines. Great. Uh, what city are you from? I'm from Istanbul. Hi, I am uh, Tuchan. I'm a cabin crew and I'm from Istanbul. So... Great. <laughs> hey, you know me. <laughs> I'm Ilayda. I'm from Istanbul and I'm a cabin attendant in Turkish Airlines. And we are in Mexico tonight. See you. Oh, that's nice. And that concluded my 30-minute visit to see Elida in Mexico City from 8.30 to 9 p.m. Just joking, we made plans for the next day. So what's the big thing about this trip? First, extended range. I don't like this, but You don't like it? Maybe, but it's just first time, you have maybe. to try it again. You'll get there. You can ask him. I hope so. Sometimes it's a thing to get used to. Extended range. Uh, um, three to four times. First time is always the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm flu. Oh man, because of this. Well, hopefully you, you get enough rest and you can be well by tomorrow. <laughs> Take vitamin C. <laughs> vitamin C. <laughs> what would you find? I found a hand sanitizer. So it's important now. It's important, but only against bacteria, not virus. No? No. Okay, well, I'll get some too. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> All right, we finished at Starbucks. How was it? Good coffee? Not as good as Turkish, right? No, uh, I didn't have coffee. coffee. What did you have? Chai, Chai tea. tea. Chai tea. <laughs> Chai tea latte. <laughs> Chai tea latte. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it was a good deal. Was it sweet? Uh, yes, sweet and cinnamon. And cinnamon, okay. Cinnamon and spicy. Have you tried it before? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so you like it? Uh, yes. Maybe I'll try it next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to meet Elena here, so that was a success. So now I'm going to head back to my place to sleep, and then tomorrow we're going to meet up at the pyramids. The metro was nearly empty after 11 p.m., and I would navigate my way back through the subway system to make my way back to my place. Of course, I got lost. Well, not really. I was just positionally unaware. And my host, Saren, came to meet me at this taco stand. Travis come muchísimo chile. Más que la mayoría de los mexicanos. We got two tacos here. What is inside? Chorizo is a kind of sausage. And cecina enchilada is kind of beef. Okay. All right, that's great. And that concluded my first day in Mexico City. Stay tuned for day two, when we visit the Teotihuacan Pyramids, both the Sun Pyramid and later the Moon Pyramid, then walk our way through the grounds to discover the ancient ruins, and lastly, return into the city for some traditional Mexican tacos. Are you excited for tacos? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs>